Hello, my name is Vicki and I'm making a series of videos uh, to document my journey through the CMC arthroplasty anchovy procedure. I was told several years ago uh, that I was going to have to have this surgery but I kept putting it off and putting it off because it was such a major ordeal. But the pain just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I've been a beautician for 30 years. I am now a, beauti uh, a cosmetology instructor. And I've also for 40 years been playing the piano. So with that, with my hands, it's just eat out that joint. Uh, we just recently moved to Hot Springs from Louisiana <clears throat> and to pastor a church here. And uh, when I would play the piano, I would notice that it was just really getting worse and worse for me to, to play the piano. So I got the doctor, uh, my primary care doctor, to uh, set me up with a uh, orthopedic doctor here that is come very, very highly recommended. She's a young girl. And so I went to see her back in, uh, I think it was June or July. And so she told me that that was what I was gonna have to do is just have surgery. Well, my insurance would not approve the surgery because I had to have six weeks of failed physical therapy. So I went through six weeks of excruciating pain with physical therapy, and of course it didn't do any good because you can't make bone grow back, or cushion grow back. And uh, so yeah, anyway, I went ahead and they set the surgery for August the 31st. Well, the week before I was supposed to have the surgery, I had to go and get, uh, my lab work, blood work done, post-op, excuse me, pre-op done. So I got up that Monday before I was supposed to went on Tuesday and started feeling bad. So I called the hospital and they told me, you need to go take a COVID test. Well, in the state of Arkansas, it used to be required that anybody that had surgery had to have a COVID test but now they don't do that. So I went to the local clinic up here and I had a rapid COVID test done and it came back uh, positive. So I was put in quarantine for 14 days, so I had to cancel all my surgery, everything. <clears throat> my husband got sick, so we actually quarantined for like almost a month. So, that was over with. I got my letters from the CDC and got cleared and also I got back on the schedule to have surgery. And uh, so it's supposed to be August, uh, October the 5th, which is Monday. And uh, this coming next Monday. So uh, I went to have my blood work and all done last week got all that done for my pre-op and they gave me uh, one of the steps that you have to do is take a shower with an antiseptic uh, solution and you have to uh, do it for four or five days before you have surgery so this is called Dynahex 4 and so they gave me this little bottle and uh, so I've got to take a shower uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday morning before I go in to have surgery. My surgery is scheduled for 11 o'clock, so I have to be there at 9. What they'll do, the doctor told me what they'll do, is they'll go in and dent this arm and put a tourniquet on it to where the blood's not bleeding very bad. <clears throat> put an IV in this arm, and that's when they'll put me to sleep. And uh, then the, the surgery is actually two hours, about two hours long. And what they do is they go in and make a little incision along here and they take out that CMC joint, which is the joint between the wrist and the thumb, base of the thumb. 
and then they go in and take a tendon out of the arm here and they take it and pull it through and drill a hole in that top joint and pull that tendon through there and wrap it around and anchor it in there and then roll the end of the tendon back up and stuff it in that joint that's missing and that's your cushion and then you'll be in a bandage for 10 days uh, you won't be able to just maybe wiggle your fingers and you won't be able to move your thumb at all and then you go back in 10 days she'll take out the uh, which my visit is the 15th of October I already have my post-op uh, appointment and then from there once I get the stitches out they'll put me in a cast and then I go next door to physical therapy uh, occupational therapy and then I'll set up my times to go there once a week but I have to wear that cast for four weeks and then they'll put me in a uh, thumb stabilizer uh, little thing that they put put you in like a it's thumb stabilizer little thing that they make and you can take it off and shower and, and do you know such like that and uh, then I'll do therapy and it's probably about six weeks of therapy and the total amount that they said uh, of rehab and all is probably two months at the you know and three to be completely over it so I know it's gonna be a while but I'm just um, I know me and I, I, I don't want to overdo it but I do want to keep the progress going to where I can heal up pretty good um, I'm not worried about it I've watched tons of YouTube videos uh, different techniques uh, different types of doctors doing it all over the, the United States and uh, this doctor comes very highly recommended. She does them all the time, and she's very, very good. She's one of the top ten in the nation. So I feel really good about it. And if you're worried about it, um, just make sure that you do your background check on the doctors that that you get a good doctor. One thing that I do did want to discuss uh, with this is the pain that uh, they said that they were, you know, that you would experience. Everybody that I've talked to that's had this told me that uh, the pain was really bad on the second and third day. Uh, one of the ladies that I talked to said that she had gotten some CBD oil and that really helped her. And so I got to thinking about that and I take essential oils all the time and I, uh, am a distributor now for doTERRA and so I was talking to the lady that I signed up under uh, to to do that and she was telling me about a new oil that they have and the name of it is uh, Kababa and y'all some of you that's watching this may know about this but this I've been taking this, I took it a month before the 1st of August, I started taking it because I wanted to have it in my system, really good in my system before I had surgery on the 31st and then I had that postponed. So I continued to take it through COVID, through everything. And my COVID and my husband's was like three days tops. No, the only real thing that I had was loss of taste and smell completely. And one day I ran 99.3 for about 12 hours and that was it. And the rest, I was up doing whatever. But I started taking this and I took it religiously for two months. And I've only had one day, one day, one, that I had to take a tram because I forgot to take my oil that morning. And the pain had gotten so bad I needed something you know so I took my oil but I took a tramadol with it and went and laid down and put my brace on my hand and, and it got calmed down I love this this is been the best investment that I ever had it's an anti-inflammatory uh, you can take one drop I take seven 
in a day and I use about that much water and I have no pain nowhere in my body. I have arthritis really bad, but I have no pain. So I know that it works because before I was popping Tylenol, ibuprofen, you know, and then they started me on tramadol. Uh, so I, I love it and it's from doTERRA and I'll post a link at the bottom if you want to check out you know check it out and maybe order you some uh, but check the reviews on it and everything is it's very good but I'm excited I know that um, I was worried at first about getting the function of my hands back because I have to have surgery on my right hand next year uh, but this one, the the difference in my hand is, you can see the difference. This is as wide as I can open this thumb. If I try to go any wider, it brings the thumb down, and it kinks the thumb right there. This one is really good. I can still have wide mobility with it, but this one, that's, that's about it. So uh, that is the, that's the way the my fingers looks deformed and all but uh, they're going to go in there and take that little joint out and I'm just hoping and praying everything goes good but uh, I've done a lot of research on it and I've talked to a lot of people by email and by text that's had this done so I feel very confident that it's going to get me pain free so I can get back to teaching uh, cosmetology in college so I'm excited y'all keep me in your prayers uh, I do plan on having uh, videos uh, the day of the surgery I wanted to do this like as a pre getting you know ready for it uh, but I will come back and do a video the day I have surgery and then two days after and then a week post-op uh, two weeks post-op and I'm gonna try to do it that way to let everybody know my progress and if you have any questions you could email me uh, I'll have my email uh, on my uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll get all the videos as I get them in but I'm excited I'm ready to be pain-free and I'm ready to get my motion back and my my strength back in my hands and get on with life because I'm too young to be crippled up and not be able to do I decorate cakes I, I love doing all that and uh, I can't do it I just I can't my hands won't let me it won't let me grip uh, I can pinch you know like this I've been tested for carpal tunnel I have none of that it's just that little that little joint and uh, the pain is real it is very real and it, it hurts really bad there's there was some nights before I got that oil, the kababa oil, that I couldn't even sleep at night. It hurt so bad. It was just, the pain was just indescribable. And I would just cry because it hurt so bad. And it just, when it got inflamed and it got angry, it, it took it out on me. And uh, so I'm just, I'm looking forward to being able to be mobile again and do what I need to do so I'll keep you updated just follow me just uh, subscribe to my channel and follow my progress and we'll get in this together thanks